Good morning to all of you, since this is a morning. Um, we will continue with the legal translation module that discusses uh, birth and death certificates. In the previous lesson, we translated the birth certificate. In this lesson, we'll continue with the death certificate. As I have said previously that the birth certificate is, and the death certificate, I've mentioned this in a class, um, are still not, both of these documents are still not translated into Kurdish, unfortunately. Uh, reason being because these documents have recently been released. Uh, they've been recently released by the Ministry of Health, I guess. So these are more detailed than the previous ones. If you see here all of the information that is mentioned in this part, like the first part right here, let me see if the Hoover is working. Yes, mouse is hoovering here. All of these information are already uh, mentioned in the previous birth, uh, birth certificate, except for this part that says, you know, mutawafi, this part. Um, in the birth certificate, it says al maulu. okay? The child, in this case, the deceased, okay, the deceased. In this case, deceased means the person who has passed away. You have all of the names, like, oh, sorry, the names uh, of personal information about the, the person who has passed away, deceased. Uh, deceased is like diseased, but diseased means you have a sickness. Deceased, it means you have passed away. Sorry, someone has passed away. Ismil uh, Mutawafi, name of the deceased, okay? Name of the parent of the deceased, uh, name of the grandparent, name of the mother, the gender, nationality, religion, and then occupation. Uh, marital status, you know this, single, married, widowed, or divorced. Uh, birth date, and you talk about the birth date, you write the birth, you translate it to birth date. Um, hallelujah, this is the place of um, birth, township, qada, muhafada is governorate. Other sources of information that are also mentioned here are a permanent address, uh, uh, house number, alley, uh, neighborhood or village. Uh, we said area. Nahia is, as I said in a previous lesson, sometimes it's also translated to Nahia without having any. It's transliterated because Nahia is an area, basically. Qadha is township, Muhafadha is governorate. So I think it would be a waste of time if I uh, lingered on here talking about the information that uh, we've already seen in the birth certificate, in the birth certificate. We, we don't need to stay here for too long. Anyways, uh, you see number 15 right here. It says name of ism al muballigh al wafat. The last time I said the word reporter, which is also correct. You can say reporter, but you can also say, well, I was, in, uh, I was actually wrong until I um, uh, reviewed a death certificate, um, a British death certificate, which actually had this uh, piece of information. Esmal Mubalagh an al Wafat would be something like uh, name of the informant, okay? Name of the informant, the informant uh, who, re who reported death, okay? In this case, the name of the person. Their relation to the deceased, okay, um, and full address. Number 17 is full address. Uh, next is uh, medical, sorry, Shahadat al Wafat at Tabiyya, medical death certificate. Number one, it says, Al Marad. Number one says you will uh, the, the, the disease or the condition that directly led to the death of the person. Uh, the one that is below it says <laughs> So this says uh, the medical conditions if present that led to the uh, to the uh, condition above uh, or the uh, uh, effect of the above, the cause of the above, uh, with mentioning the reason as to why 
sorry, uh, as, as to why yes, someone has passed away, okay? So I think it's something like that. I will double check if there is any mistake in my translation in this part, but I think it says the medical conditions, if present, which caused the above with mentioning the uh, original cause at the end, okay? The second translation, which I provided right now, is more correct than the first one. Here it means, here it means, let's suppose someone had um, um, some sort of anxiety disorder, yes? A sort of anxiety, let's say depression, someone had depression. And it was because of depression that this person committed suicide, which is the cause, of which, which is the death itself. What causes, what caused the death was suicide, yes, but what, what was the reason, what was the original cause, it was depression, all right? This is why you have A, B, you know, C, D, okay? Which says, تَسَبَّبَ أَوْ نَتِيجَ So, تَسَبَّبَ caused this or was caused by the one which follows. So, let's say the phrasing here implies or means, let's say A, uh, suicide, caused by depression, okay? In case there is a secondary reason as to why someone has, um, um, let's say, committed suicide or has passed away. Number two says, حالات مهمة أخرى ساعدت على وفاة ولا صلة لها بالمرض أو حالة التي سببت الوفاة. Other conditions um, which aided the death which have nothing to do with the medical condition or the disease which led to the death of the person. In this case, I really cannot think of anything substantial, um, but I'd, I'd, I'd say it'd be something like um, someone gets into a car crash, yes? They do not pass away. They go into a hospital. They go into a hospital. They develop a coma. They go into a coma. And then maybe after a coma, they get resuscitated. They wake up from the coma. But then later, they pass away because of um, the trauma that the person suffered. So that's what is implied here. Anyways, what's important for you is only the translation, not everything. Um, this says, فترة تقريبية, right here, فترة تقريبية بين ظهور الأعراض والوفاة. Approximate time between appearance of symptom, signs, and death. Number 19, هل متوفي امرأة وفي مرحلة الحمل أو الإسقاط الولادة أو النفاس? Yes or no? Is the woman or is the deceased woman in stage of pregnancy, حمل, abortion, sorry, miscarriage, الإسقاط, الولادة, delivery, أو النفاس? Is نفاس is post Postpartum. Postpartum is, or postnatal, I think. Postnatal is another word for nifas. Postpartum, sorry, yes, postnatal is, or postpartum, I was actually correct, is when the, the, the woman delivers the baby and the period that follows it immediately is known as the postpartum period. I think it's a month, I'm not sure exactly, I'm not too familiar with that. Um, so if the answer is yes, I mean, you just translate yes and no, and if the answer is yes, you take yes, and if the answer is no, you take no. Uh, next it says, حدثت الولادة أثناء. Uh, death occurred during حمل, pregnancy. الإجهاض is abortion. Okay. Three, الولادة, delivery. Four, النفاس, which I said post Partum or postnatal period. For delivery and um, abortion. Pregnancy duration is mentioned in weeks. Okay? The stamp for the medical directorate. Um, what else? Number 20, حدثت وفاة في البيت مستشفى مكان آخر اسم المستشفى والمركز الصحي نوع الردها رقم الطبلة. Okay. Death occurred 
في in البيت you know house مستشفى hospital another place مكان آخر مستشفى المركز الصحي name of the hospital or the medical center نوع الردها is the translation is type of ward type of ward w a r d ward in this case is uh, placed in the hospital let's say was it in the um, delivery ward where women give uh, where women give birth to babies was it in let's say in the um, children's ward and so on raqam at-tabla is the patient chart number or the patient's chart number there's a a paper that contains all of the information of a patient and it's called the patient's chart so that when doctors um, do tours on their patients when they go when, when they go looking around for their patients and to see patients to see if there is any updates on the patient's condition they look at the um, patient chart which is raqam at sorry the tabla tabla al marif or the patient chart Next is um, in case in case uh, all of these information have been consolidated and and um, validated, a doctor signs this death certificate. It says أشهد أن وفات قد حدث من أسباب أسباب المثبتة أعلاه. I witness that the death occurred due to the reasons mentioned above. Name of the doctor is مطابق توقيعه. Uh, signature and one shtigal al tabib, profession of the doctor uh, or uh, address of the doctor, but not address in sense in the sense of uh, like working in a hospital um, where where they live. It's, it doesn't mean where they live, but it's uh, what kind of um, specialty or sorry, yes, specialization of the doctor. Specialization of the doctor is more correct. And one shtigal al tabib would be specialization of the doctor. قرار القاضي في حالة عدم تشريح الجثة. Decision of the judge in case no autopsy was performed. So suppose the doctor does not perform any autopsies. Autopsy is when the body is dissected and the body is medically investigated to see the cause of death. Uh, if that is not conducted, the person, the, the family of the deceased would go to the judge and declare the death of this person by uh, mentioning the cause and the judge would uh, validate or give a verdict with regards to the death of this person. And this happens in case uh, no autopsies were performed. Next, <coughs> says Shahadat At-Tabiyya Al-Adliya. So, Forensic Medicine Certificate. Forensic Medicine Certificate. Uh, in this case, this happens when someone is killed uh, without having any person around, without having witnesses. So a doctor, a forensic doctor, uh, who specializes in investigative uh, procedures on the dead bodies, uh, will perform an investigative uh, procedure on the dead body so as to see uh, whether or not this person was caused, sorry, this person was killed by a certain uh, weapon, a uh, certain uh, distance in which this person was killed, and so on. So it's these sorts of information that you would find there. So, أنا الموقع عدنا. Sorry, it says, تملأ وتوقع من قبل طبيب عدلي. Filled and signed by a forensic doctor. أنا الموقع عدنا الدكتور. I, who, who, who signed below, doctor, name of the doctor, doctor at, the name of the hospital, performed autopsy on the body of the deceased, name of the deceased in this case, which was referred by, حسب استمارة طلب التشريح المرقمة, According to the um, uh, uh, request form, or sorry, uh, autopsy request form number, and then the number of the autopsy form, um, which dated, the dated, you write the date. Now, al-hadith, 
uh, type of um, incident, okay? Uh, there is incident and there is accident, depends really. If it's an incident, it could be anything. It could be gunshot, could be uh, hit and run, someone killing someone by means of driving too fast. If it's accident, then the other party is not sometimes legally um, held accountable for their mistakes or crime. So this is why I think it's better to, 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 to translate this into um, type of incident. Sabab uh, al-wafat al-nihai, final cause of death, tawqi' al-tabib, signature of doctor, tamma tasih bu mujak kitab al-tasih al-sadr min. Um, um, audition audition was conducted in accordance to the audit document number or which was issued by the name of the issuing party المرقم, numbered um, in in this case the date uh, I cannot see this word I assume if this was on a CD or if you um, add this information on a CD, then you would uh, write a serial number for the CD for organizational purposes. It says Khatam uh, At-Tibab al Forensic Medicine uh, Stamp. Um, so. Yes, that's pretty much all of the information I guess you would need when you translate a death certificate because other information, the information that are mentioned right here, are already present in the um, birth certificate. So you don't need to, I, I don't need to go over all of these information again. And since it's only, uh, it's right, I mean, uh, it's been 17 minutes um, I'm talking, uh, describing this death certificate, and I'm pretty sure a student. Students would get bored and since there's no interaction. Uh, I think I would leave it here. And these uh, information also present in the birth certificate. So the vocabularies I've, I've given you in the birth certificate uh, would, would also be of use. And in this one would also be of uh, pretty much use to you when you're translating this document as well. With that being said, thank you very much for your attention. Please, I apologize again for... Um, elongating the duration of this lesson, but um, it wasn't really my fault. It's not my fault. These documents tend to be um, too detailed. This is why, and hence, the, um, the uh, longevity or the elongation of these electronic lessons. Thank you very much, and have a very good day.